Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? One more time, because you know I like energy and I need to hear it from the audience because I am excited that we are here on this great occasion. So, one more time. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I love it. I love it. I am telling you, we are making history here in Jacksonville, Onslow County, the great state of North Carolina. So I am Millionaire Williams, Vice President of the Jacksonville Onslow Chamber of Commerce. And on behalf of our Executive Committee, the Board of Directors, and the staff, we would like to thank you for your attendance today, being a part of this great ceremony. And it is with deep admiration that I've been able to work with the Chamber and work with great people in this community. And my voice is getting a little, mm, it's feeling them. But um, I love this community and the things that we've done to improve and expand and grow. And um, now we're getting a little national attention because we have a marker that stands for national attention. Uh, <laughs> and um, we are excited about that. But um, I have been known for trying to keep the microphone, but I'm not going to do that this morning. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do and have a seat and let the program continue. But I just get excited, and I like people to know that. And uh, without further ado, I am introducing the Dr. Reverend Amy Cesarin, St. Julia AME Zion Church, where Tyrone Willingham grew up. Would you please come to the mic? She will be doing the invitation. It is indeed an honor and a pleasure to be asked to do the invocation for this great moment and to have the opportunity to meet such an icon. I am a football fan, and so I do know of you. <laughs> Amen. Uh, let us pray. Gracious God, we're so thankful for this day that you have made for the opportunity and privilege of rejoicing and being glad in it. Now, O oh God, we ask that you would bless us now for this occasion for which we gather. We thank you, O oh God, for all that you have done in all of our lives and particularly in the life of this honoree on today. We thank you for the lives that he has touched, the places he has gone, and even now how his legacy lives on and how it is an encouragement to many. God, we ask that what you desire to be said and done would be so done in this place on today. Have thine own way in this place. We invite and invoke your presence that we'll know we have been in your presence as we celebrate this milestone. These and all blessings we ask in the name of your son, Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for uh, spreading the blessings in the room because we always need those, absolutely. And it is again my pleasure to introduce to all of you in the room who you know so well, but I will always get to the podium and introduce him as my mayor. And um, it's a great privilege to have my mayor, Sammy Phillips, come to the podium. Thank you. Thank you so much, Million. I appreciate that introduction, and I hope to continue to be your mayor for quite some time in the future. <laughs> I am very, I'm just tickled to be here today, happy as I can be to be here today to, to recognize someone who is so, who's left such an impact on this community. You know, people, people say, you know, where are you from? I say, Jacksonville. Well, what's in Jacksonville? I say, well, Camp Lejeune. Well, what else is in, in Jacksonville? I said, well, t Coach Ty Willenham's from there. <laughs> They didn't know what I'm talking about. They didn't know what I'm talking about. But on behalf of the citizens of Jacksonville and everyone, I want to welcome you all here today. Uh, I think you're, you're a lifetime citizen of Jacksonville anyway. Yeah. Also, you know, before I get going too good here, I want to recognize uh, a couple of folks here that's with me today. I have with me uh, Council Member Jerome Willingham, who is Ty's brother. <laughs> Younger brother. I have with me Council Member Randy Thomas. 
Council Member Thomas is also from the Jacksonville Senior High School graduating class of 1972, in which Ty was in and graduated. <laughs> and also, I have my fellow 1970 Jacksonville Senior High School graduate, <laughs> Council Member Robert Warden, with us today. Today we uh, preserve for history, and today we raise up a native son's accomplishments. The Willingham name has been spread throughout the history of Jacksonville and Oslo County. As a family, they have contributed significantly and positively to our community, and today we recognize a member whose influence and work has, made, has been made in places far from Jacksonville. I'm very pleased to serve with Jerome on the Jacksonville City Council. We've been serving together so long now that uh, it'd be odd not to see him every, every other Tuesday. But uh, we've, been, we've been together on the council for a long time, and then I was a city employee when Jerome was on the council. So we, we've known each other. Well, we go back all the way, a long ways. I remember he played for the, uh, he played for the Tigers in Midget League football. So did, <laughs> so did Tyron. Am I right? Okay. Who was the tiger? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Who had the best records? Well, I want to know. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm very pleased to have benefited from the work or that we've been able to uh, benefit from the work of Lillian uh, Willingham also, uh, including her history making service on the uh, voter, uh, the, well, I'm sorry, on the Oslo County School Board for all those years. And today I'm very pleased to have a fellow alumnus of Jacksonville Senior High School, which I'm so proud to be able to tell everybody I'm a member of, of that, that core. They have achieved so much. And, uh, and your achievements are just unbelievable. Unbelievable. I had lived that too. I added that in there. I mean, I, I, <laughs> <clears throat> today we recognize Tyrone Willingham for the accomplishments that you've made, for the work you've done. Uh, it's just unbelievable what you've been able, uh, what a what a fellow, a guy from Jacksonville has been able to accomplish. You know. Recently, the Tourism Development Authority adopted uh, work to create a community identity, and I'm pleased they have uh, selected a tagline of "Heroes Welcomed Here," and certainly Tyrone fits that bill for us as a hero of many. His accomplishments give inspiration and hope to others who emulate the hard work that Tyrone has done. I remember his role well as a starting quarterback for Jacksonville High School, probably one of the first times we had a winning season. I didn't get that right then, probably. <laughs> yeah. During high school, he set passing records for yards in a game that stood for 15 years and touchdowns in a game that stood for 20 years. Those are memorable. I remember the news of his accomplishments uh, when he went to Michigan State University. It's been 18 seasons as assistant coach, including uh, service at Michigan State, NC State, Rice, and Stanford. I do remember the pride we had for Tyrone when we read about him in the newspaper, and I know all of us have. You know, when he was, especially when he was named Stanford University's head football coach. And then, with seven winning seasons later, being named as the first African-American coach at Notre Dame University. What an accomplishment. He also celebrated his role at the University of Washington. In each of these roles, he was lauded for his attention to his student athletes and for his desire that his players be winners on the field, in the classroom, and in their social and spiritual development. Tyrone, we thank you. We thank you for your return to your hometown and not forgetting us. I know you, you're not the kind of person that ever would but we appreciate you coming back and hope you will know that you are always welcome here. This is your hometown. It's our hometown. 
And this community is very proud of what you've been able to do in your life, short life. You're younger than me. <laughs> By two years. But again, I, I can't say enough, uh, I can't say enough of the personal pride that I feel, you know, for, for having known you, you know, for so many years and, and seeing, you know, like I say, you've been all over this country doing what you do best, you know, leading people. And uh, it's just it's just amazing, you know, to, to see what you've been able to accomplish. And everybody in this room I, I know can speak that you we are very proud of you and proud of what you've been able to do. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for those words that I'm quite certain, as you stated, we all share those sentiments of heart or the words that were spoken by our mayor. And next, I will introduce Mr. Glenn Hargett, who is the assistant city manager, and uh, he will give the marker introduction. So, Mr. Hargett. Thank you very much. Thank you all. I am honored to be part of the management of the city of Jacksonville, and we wholeheartedly endorsed this idea and embraced it. I do want to call attention to my boss, who's technically on vacation today, is uh, Deputy um, City Manager Ron Massey, and of course, Dr. Richard Woodruff, who's um, visiting family at this moment. My memory of Tyrone, I'm also a fellow 1972 graduate of Jacksonville High School, is um, the most enduring memories come from the fact when um, Coach Gid Johnson asked me, because um, um, Pratt Simmons and I were the photographers for the annual, and we were the business managers for the annual, and he wanted me to take the, the film, it was not video, it was film of, um, of the games. <laughs> and so um, um, I got a whopping five bucks um, to, to, to take that and to get to the bus station <clears throat> before midnight on each time the game played, <clears throat> excuse me. So I got to ride on the bus with the guys on away games, and that in and of itself was um, an experience because un you could never tell from my, my, my appearance, but um, <clears throat> I'm not the athlete that they were. <laughs> <clears throat> but through that tiny viewfinder, I got to see his prowess because my job was to follow the ball, but keep it wide enough so the coaches could analyze what was going on. You tricked me many times. <laughs> and obviously, that occurred in such a way that we did have those winning seasons and the records that the mayor spoke of that held for so long. But my memory is also emblazoned with those times that you've come back, the times that you've made your appearance here in Jacksonville, some of them quiet, some of them to see friends like Michael Stevens and others that you treasure, and some of them when you came when you were honored in 19, 2002 as a member of the Jacksonville Onslow Sports Hall of Fame. And then one that I'm treasuring is when, when Michael brought you to a planning meeting for a high school class reunion. <laughs> we, uh, we, we knew who he was and we knew him from our days of past, but it had been a while since a, a lot of us had seen him in that type of, uh, of setting. He was a genuine person, the same person we remember from high school. And for that, we say thank you. A few moments ago when I was speaking to Tyrone and um, Bob Borden, Councilman Bob Borden brought his um, annuals in for us to kind of peruse and none of us have the hair that we once had in there except for Randy <laughs> Thomas. And um, we... <laughs> But anyway, I, I spoke of my memories of this community growing up because we both grew up on this side of the railroad tracks. I grew up in New River and went to Clyde Irvin, and he was over here in this two-story house that was across. That these grounds on which we stand and which we have help to grow the vegetables that nourish your body and understand that Jerome was allowed to have them occasionally too. <laughs> And this ground where indeed the recreation center is and the park that's been here for some time was where he played games and, you know, baseball and football and all those other things there that, uh, that happened. And he was known to have a few games of basketball also. It, in, in speaking of what it was that we grew up and how humbled we are that he'd come back and, and be recognized because 
to, we must as a community have people like this that we can point to younger people and show this, this, this accomplishment and give hope and give spirit to them. That he said something that is so meaningful and so tiring. He says, I am a product of this community. Why wouldn't I have come back? Tyrone, thank you. That is, that, that is a legacy that is... That's the legacy that we really treasure. Your accomplishments are those which many people celebrate. But those accomplishments that we as fellow Jack civilians have of, your, of the pride in you having accomplished them are the ones that we hold treasured and that we have. We're proud of you as a person. We're proud of you as Jack civilian. And we're proud that you have accomplished these things and that you would humble us by coming back here to this. And so it is with great honor that we're going to ask all these people to come forward and assemble over here. We're going to move this marker in a moment here to the center, and we're going to unveil this. Now, this was the rain plan, um, <laughs> because at the time we, we came through this, we wanted to make sure we do have a few moments without rain that we're going to move outside and do a ribbon cutting after this. But for this point, we want to move this over here and to have this effect. So if the council members would come forward, and um, Jerome, I'm sure you have people you wish to advance the time. <laughs> Come right over here, sir. Right. The other council members start here. If you want to say anything? Well, he gave me an opportunity to speak, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, the growing up here in Eastern North Carolina, I wasn't aware of anything outside the ACC, and. When I found out that uh, Ty was going to Michigan State, I, I realized I had a name to Spartans. And up until that point, I'd never really paid attention to anything outside of Carolina, Duke, or NC State, or Wake. So uh, I did follow Michigan State while you were in college. So just wanted you to know you, you broadened my horizon. <laughs> and I, also, as I've gotten older, I've come to appreciate the, the fact that uh, Jacksonville has been blessed by the presence of the entire Willingham family. I think uh, not just not just you, but Jerome and and the uh, your parents. I think uh, you know I've come to appreciate the the value of of, of good people, and uh, you y'all certainly are in that category. So congratulations. Oh, I'll take just a moment to because. Uh, Certainly this made us all uh, recollect. And I think my first memories of the Willingham was in, at the Jack Amy at Recreation Center. We had a miniature or midget basketball league. I remember it was real original. They just took the NBA and called us. There was the Lakers, the Celtics, and the, uh, right down the road. And uh, I, uh, you know, I didn't, we weren't buddies or anything, but we did, I can remember Jerome had a special shooting technique. That was he was compensating for a little lack of height, <laughs> and he, he would put the ball. Is this not right? That he had the ball a shot from the top there. Well, then you know we did. We were classmates, but I didn't quite attain his uh, athletic ability. I peaked in ninth grade when I made the basketball team as a statistician. <laughs> anyway, uh, but through high school we had common friends. Uh, I remember Bob Sanders, of course, and Dale Batchelor and Joe Chapman and. Burt Lykins sends his regards. Uh, Dennis Burgess, I thought about him today. Gary Murphy, they were a lot of a lot of good athletes. And Billy Justice, like I don't know if I mentioned him. Yeah. But anyway, uh, but yeah, he was to me in high school. I thought he was quiet. Of course, he was probably thinking when I was yeah. talking. So <laughs> anyway, uh, it, it is great to see you again, and, and wonderful to have you back in town. And we sure are proud of you. Thank you. It's easy to see how we accomplished so much on city council with, <laughs> with this group. Um, I was a year roughly younger than Tyrone, but we were very competitive as, as kids. And um, 
I had a year, whatever he accomplished, I had a year to do it. So it wasn't that much pressure. I didn't, <laughs> no. But um, when he went to Michigan State, the competition turned to pride. All of my friends would watch him on TV and we would just gather around on Saturdays to watch him play at Michigan State whenever we could catch the game. And ever since then, it's been a source of enormous pride to be his brother. And um, when we started um, kind of vague talking about the, um, the ceremony, um, all he wanted to talk about was Kim. So it's good that she's here and um, gets to meet all of you. Um, Glenn referred to the vegetables and the fruit, and um, we consider Tyrone a, a product of, of this land. Specifically, um, our garden was here. That's what Glenn was referring to. And um, I think that's where we learned hard work. Um, we, he was the mule. <laughs> we had this, um, what was it that we had? Uh, tiller plow. It was a monster trying to control that thing, and I'm sure that's where he got some of his athletic, athletic ability from. <laughs> but um, our family transferred this property, so this is a special location for us, uh, to the Recreation Center. And there's probably only two people in here that might remember this. Buddy Wickfall is one. Reverend Matt Millen might remember it, but the first um, Recreation Center for African Americans was, yeah. Our, our first floor of our home. <laughs> so, so this is a, a real special location and a special time. So um, I know how much work went into this. I know how um, much work the chamber did in, in preparing for this, um, especially uh, Millionaire and Veronica. Thank you. Um, so um, we're just really grateful that Everything has come together on this special day. So, thank you. Uh, first of all, um, when I was informed of this honor, which it is truly an honor, I really couldn't think of exactly what to say. And so for the last month, I've been going back and forth and forth and back trying to figure out exactly what to say on this occasion. I knew one thing now, and this was constant from the day one. Thank you was the first thing that had to be said. And it's not a thank you to Jess Million in the chamber, Mayor, thank you. But it's a thank you to everyone that is here. Because at one of my institutions that I worked at for a few years, we were having unbelievable success. And I sat down with a reporter. And the reporter tilted his questions in such a manner that it tried to make it seem like I was the reason we were having success. And that's far from the truth. The truth of the matter is, it was not Tyrone Willingham, but it was our team. I was a part of the team. I am a part of this team. Call it Jacksonville. I am a part of you. I can go and just about tell stories about almost everyone in here in some type of relationship 
with me that helped me make the steps I've made. And I told that reporter this. I really I asked him a question. And I'll ask you the same question. Please tell me what it is that you've done by yourself. What it is that you've done by yourself. And that day, he had his pencil. I simply asked him, did you make the pencil? No. He had his paper. Did he make the paper? No. He drove to Notre Dame. Did he make the car? No. So what I try to impress upon him, as I will impress upon hopefully you, that there is nothing that we do by ourselves. Your existence took two other people to get you here. You didn't do it. So I recognize that I really haven't done a whole lot. But my goal is tomorrow, maybe I will do something. And that's how I've been my entire life. I've been blessed unbelievably. I, I don't think anyone in this world has had as many blessings as I've had. I had a great set of parents. Unbelievable that you have a mother that at the time she was a mother has a master's degree from Columbia University, and yet I have a father that only has a fifth grade education. And yet their mindsets were on the same level. The same spirit, the same goals, the same ambitions. I was blessed. I grew up in a community, and Jerome mentioned it, okay? And I am excited as he shares his excitement about me being a coach and travel the country. I'm excited about him being a councilman and making a difference in this city and being part of a group that wants to make a difference in this city. But I grew up in an environment where you had people that were striving to do something different, to be something better. I look around this room, okay? Marion Wigfall, his name was mentioned, okay? Buddy used to get up and run the road, okay, in combat boots, okay? Military boots for those that don't know, okay? <laughs> and I used to watch as a little kid, okay? And as my dad always taught me, you don't want to be as good, you want to be better. And that was the goal. Okay, to be better quarterback, to be a better player than Miriam Wickfall, ball was high. I had an environment that had great friends, okay, classmates. But Michael Stevens and I have walked probably, I'm gonna say from just about first grade up until graduating from Jacksonville Senior High School, almost every step together. We used to be in the back of my dad's red truck coming back and forth from practice. <laughs> yeah, we did. Okay. So, I mean, I've had unbelievable blessings. And I've been blessed to have family, friends. Okay. My two sisters are here. Okay. Gail. Okay. Joyce. And you know what? I'll be honest with you. They had a rough time. I didn't have it rough. Okay, in our house, when a sport came on, guess where the TV went? <laughs> it wasn't, they didn't have a choice, okay? Because there wasn't no second TV, okay, to run to. There was only one, okay? And those are the things. When we played, they had to go, okay? It wasn't no staying home or do what you want to do. They were there, okay? But I've had family, friends, and it continues. Because for someone, and, and Pastor, you say you're a football fan, okay, usually right now what happens when I walk into a room is that people start saying their teams, okay, because this year I'm going to be a part of a committee of 13, okay, selected from around the country, 
that will make a decision on who will be the top four teams in the country to go into the college football playoff, the first in the history of the NCAA. So, I do take bribes, <laughs> okay, <laughs> only joking, because that gets out, I'll be in real trouble. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Great. I think you're right on that one. But there are just so many blessings that I've had, you know, you think about it again, and I, if, I, if I'm repeating myself, but to have a mother and father that I have no choice in to do what they did for not only me, but for my brother and my two sisters, okay? And then I'm blessed in a way that um, I don't think most people can, hope you can share, but I've had the most wonderful wife for 34 years. Let, let me tell you, that's not easy. It's not easy being, first of all, me. Okay, that's, that's one issue. Okay, the second issue is the job. Okay, the third issue is the travel. This woman has bought houses in eight different states in this country and lived in almost every part of the United States. Never complained. Publicly. <laughs> But it is a wonder because she did such a wonderful job raising our kids. And we are blessed. I have three kids. We have three kids. Okay, one thirty, getting her uh, master's in nutrition science at San Jose, State, San Jose State University. I have a son that's getting ready to go to Menlo College and be a student and coach at the same time. I have a daughter that's getting her law degree from the University of Denver. So we are incredibly blessed. I have been blessed. So to be from Jacksonville, I take great pride in it. And I make sure that when I say I'm from Jacksonville, they know it's not Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. That it is Jacksonville, North Carolina. Okay. And that I am quite proud of the people I grew up with, family, friends, neighbors, Okay, because I would not be who I am without you. And I think back on some of the people, not all of them, but there were always some that just kind of stood out or a particular remark stood out. And I can always remember as a kid, okay, Mr. Johnny Crawford. Okay, Mr. Crawford was a big baseball man. Loved baseball. Okay, always wanted a team down here at that part. But I remember some incident with Mr. Crawford that I happened to be in his area and there was, a, I, I guess I'll describe it the right way, there was a drunk, because we've had those on Kerr Street before. <laughs> okay. And I think Mr. Crawford asked me, what can you learn? And the normal response is, nothing. What can I learn from, from that person? But Mr. Crawford said to me, you can always learn something from every one. And if nothing else, don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been blessed. I am honored to be a part of this trail, okay? And I am especially honored. I, I don't know in my mind if I should have a place, because when I look at my mother, okay, I don't think I could ever carry the same weight that she carried and the things that she did in this community. Okay, that would be tough to reach that level. But I'm honored to be a part of it, and please understand, it's not me. Hopefully, it's you, and I just happen to be the face. Thank you.
Wow, words from a humble heart. I could actually write a book on that one. Wow, I am telling you, that was really um, touching, very moving, and um, words that I know that as a community, to know that you are an ambassador for Jacksonville is awesome. And Kim, Thank you for standing behind on the side and being there. Because as he shared, that's a lot in a marriage because most people in the room don't deal with that much traveling. Mm -hmm. I mean, deployments, yes, but that's a lot. So we honor you today for being the woman that you are and standing. We appreciate you. Thank you. Not to be taken lightly, because I am clear. Um, I will um, be doing some of the closing remarks. And in that, I just want to add, if anyone in the audience knows of anyone here in Onslow County, because I, I'm always um, closing as well, but um, the trail is still alive. We have applications on the back of the table there. So take one, and we will, at the chamber, we are, quote unquote, the governing body committee of the Minority Business Services, we take in the applications, we consider it, we vote on it. It then gets sent to the Onso County Museum, who's a partner in this achievement that we've uh, put together as a team. We have a historian there that looks at all the data, gathers all the data, brings that information to us. It then goes to a graphic artist, and lo and behold, that's the product that we have throughout Onso County. But that's the process. So I'd be remiss in any one of you sitting in the audience, sitting there thinking of some other great people here and not to take anything away from Mr. Tyrone Willingham. But um, just to let you know, the project still goes forward. And what we're doing with this next phase of the project, we're looking at people and we're looking to develop a wall in Jacksonville, not a wall, but say you come into Jacksonville in the airport and it's your first time coming in and there's a wall, a great wall of African American achievement accomplishments. So the project keeps expanding. We thought when we started this project in 2010, we put it together, be done with it. We've had a couple of familiarization tours known as FAM tours in the tourism industry where we took a group of people on a bus, we went to each of the sites, we had different activity involved, but it has grown, it has expanded, and it still has a breath of its own. So stop by the chamber, make sure you get a brochure, and I thank you for your attendance, and we're gonna have the ribbon cutting. <laughs>